Well, friends, welcome to day three. I'm Bill from Tenery Family Church, and it's great to be with you this morning. Let's get straight down to it and read the scripture from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 2, starting with verse 13. Jesus went to the lake again. Many people followed him there. So Jesus taught them. Jesus was walking beside the lake, and he saw a man named Levi, son of Alphaeus. Levi was sitting at his place for collecting taxes. Jesus said to him, follow me. Then Levi stood up and followed Jesus. Later that day, Jesus ate at Levi's house. There were many tax collectors and other bad people eating there with Jesus and his followers. There were many of these people that followed Jesus. The teachers of the law, they were Pharisees, saw Jesus eating with these tax collectors and other bad people. They asked Jesus' followers, why does he, Jesus, eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and he said to them, healthy people don't need a doctor. It's the sick people that need a doctor. I did not come to invite good people. I came to invite sinners. The followers of John and the Pharisees were fasting. And some people came to Jesus and said, John's followers fast and the followers of the Pharisees fast. But your followers don't fast. Why? Jesus answered, when there is a wedding, the friends of the bridegroom are not sad whilst he is with them. They cannot fast, be sad, but while the bridegroom is still there. But the time will come when the bridegroom will leave them. The friends are sad when the bridegroom leaves, then they will fast. When a person sews a patch over a hole in an old coat, that person never uses a piece of cloth that has not yet shrunk. If he does, the patch will shrink and pull away from the hole. Then the hole will be worse. Also, people never pour new wine into old wine, into old wine bags. Why? Because the new wine will break the bags and the wine will be ruined with the wine bags. People always put new wine into new wine bags. On the Sabbath day, Jesus was walking through some grain fields. His followers were walking with him. The followers picked up some grain to eat. The Pharisees saw this and said to Jesus, why are your followers doing that? It's against the Jewish law to do that on the Sabbath day. Jesus answered, you have read what David did when he and the people with him were hungry and needed food. It was during the time of Abathia, the high priest, David went into God's house and ate the bread that was offered to God. And the law of Moses says that only the priests can eat that bread. David also gave some of the bread to those people with him. Then Jesus said to the Pharisees, the Sabbath day, was made to help people. People were not made to be ruled by the Sabbath day. So the Son of Man is Lord, Master of every day, even the Sabbath. Another time Jesus went into the synagogue. In the synagogue there was a man with a crippled hand. Some Jews there were watching Jesus closely. They were waiting to see if he would not, if he would heal the man on Sabbath day. They wanted to see Jesus do something wrong so that he could accuse them. Jesus said to the man with the crippled hand, stand up here so that all the people can see you. Then Jesus asked the people, which thing is right to do on the Sabbath day? To do good? or to do evil? Is it right to save a life or to destroy one? The people said nothing to answer Jesus, and Jesus looked at the people. He was angry 
but he felt very sad because they were stubborn. Jesus said to the man, let me see your hand. The man put out his hand for Jesus and it was healed. Then the Pharisees left and made plans with the Herodians about a way to kill Jesus. Well, friends, I just love Mark's gospel. I love its fluidity, the way the action just flows through the pages. And I trust as we look at Mark's gospel over this coming year, all of us will get something from it that will change our lives in such a way as we become more and more like Jesus. Of course, I've got lots of thoughts on these verses. I just want to share the one thought with you. And it really comes from the first passage that I started to read. When Jesus was invi invited, when Jesus was invited to Matthew's house, yeah, he was invited and he ate with what this version of the Bible says, bad people, right? The Pharisees were watching all of this and in disdain, they said, why is this man eating with such sinners? And I love church. I'd often say in our church, it doesn't matter where you've been, who you are, what you've done. You belong and come to belief out of the feeling of belonging. And it's a thought that's been with me for, for many years, that as we embrace the world in a way we can share Jesus with them. They see Jesus shine through us. And they will, friends, if we apply the word of God into our lives. So as we fast this month, we're, we're fasting not only to show our desire to God how serious we are, but also it's a time of reflection as we look inwardly into ourselves. And my prayer would be, in a moment, is that... God will restore those that think they're not worth much in God's sight because they're such sinners. And yet when they meet Christ, their hearts will be softened and restoration starts to take place. And so Jesus said this, healthy people don't need a doctor. It's the sick people that need a doctor. I did not come to invite good people. I came to invite sinners. May this be a year where we see restoration in people's lives. Let us pray. Father God, I thank you for the fluidity and dynamics of the Mark's gospel that we're going through this year. I thank you for the miracles that we read and the teaching that you give. Help each one of us this year to draw closer to you and may your will be outpoured through our lives into our communities as we see Jesus restore lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good day. God bless you.